managed to hit uh, 66 subscribers throughout the week. So hopefully I can uh, not get shot by Palpatine. He's personally going to execute me for reaching that number. We had a zombie chicken once. Uh, no, kind of long story, no idea how that chicken lived. You chopped its head off, but because of the fact that a chicken's near a... a oh, God. Nerve? No. Neuron? No. God damn it, what is a word? Skirtle. Oh, <laughs> Skrittle! No! <laughs> I'm getting there. You're not! Brain system. What is it called? What is it called? Nervous! It's because a chicken's nervous system is so simple that you can chop off the head and it can still function without the head. Zombie chickens are Link's nightmare. I've never actually played a Legend of Zelda game, but I do know the opening theme to Ocarina of Time on the piano. <laughs> Seems we all have ADD in this chat, don't we? I've been diagnosed by three different doctors with ADHD, so yes. You know, a lot less people would go to church if instead of saying eating the flesh of Christ, they said it's time to war Jesus. Okay, there's this concept I have. It's called Schrodinger's Racist. Now, Schrodinger's Racist is simultaneously not racist and racist at the same time. This is because Schrodinger's Racist hates brown people, but worships a Middle Eastern man who was almost 100% brown by the name of Jesus Christ. I love how we went from war to racism in under three minutes. <laughs> Turbo mode. Shiny rocks, shiny rocks are cool. I have a few. Sh shiny rock. Petrified stick. Shiny rock time. Well, yeah. It, things are nice. Monkey brain want like thing. Man, humans really are weird, aren't we? <laughs> Pretty. Yeah, I found this, like, walking. It's how you find all rocks, but I rather enjoy it. I don't know what it is for sure, but one of these days I just want to go for a walk and pick up rocks. I enjoy reflective minerals. Yeah, reflective rocks are nice, but I don't know. There's something really nice just about, like, colors in general. I don't know, I really vibe with brown, though. You can't tell by the channel's branding being green and brown. But sometimes things don't have to be reflective, you know? But I can understand the opinion. Sword YouTube is one of the few YouTube communities that isn't perpetually rocked by drama. <laughs> like, everyone's like, Oh no, how could the mildly creepy middle-aged man have turned out to be a sex offender. I feel so betrayed, which I relate to that, you know. I can understand how it feels to find out someone that you would enjoy content creation from is a predator and you can't watch them anymore because it's not right. But also, like, I don't understand the sentiment that every YouTuber is that because if you look at Sword YouTube, there's been people doing this shit for, since, like, 2008 still at it, you know. But also, swords aren't everyone's thing. I really enjoy swords and weapons and such, though, but that's also because I believe that the things that can kill you are beautiful in an esoteric kind of way, and thus I appreciate owning them and looking at them. However, most people who like swords and weapons and shit are not at all that deep about it. Linthari, you should ask Penn about the tale of his fingy. Oh, no. My fingy. So, me and Kenshin uh, were childhood friends. And there was one time I walked to his house and we were play fighting with some sticks that we had found. And well, I had just gotten into play fighting with sword sticks, whereas Kenshin here was fucking turbo master, been doing it for years. 
So he flips his stick into an ice pick grip and goes to like smack me across the side with his stick. And I raise my stick to block and I block it, but it just smacks the hell out of my index finger. And I dropped the stick and proclaimed, ow, my thingy. <laughs> Rip his fingy or something. I don't know what happened yet. The latency, the latency tells all. I left him fucking gaping, Lamau. I'll get you back for that one day, Kenshin. Perfect time to message me. I need to live stream more often. It's the only time my friends ever text me. <laughs> oh, completely is such a terrible word. By the rules of this, completely becomes yum. Oh, I have to. Oh, no. Yum, we, we. <laughs> <laughs> no. Your suffering gr brings me great joy. Five years from now, I'm going to watch this video and think, yep, this was worth it. Every second. Oh, I'm thinking, Jesus Christ almighty, what have I done? Wait, who's in the house with who? Yes. Overall, I'd have to say that I think when it comes to chess, I've had a pretty bad time. <laughs> This is why I'm never going to go anywhere as a YouTuber. <laughs> Coke coffee is kind of hard to find. Oh, yeah. I I think it's because Coca-Cola knows it was a mistake. In 20 years, there's going to be some, like, fucking clickbait ass channel with 20 Coke products you've never heard of. And Coke coffee is going to be number five on that list. Okay. Let me turn this down a little bit. So, oh, oh no. These Computer, the don't do it. The These men, they're not that hot. We summon you, newbie. Speak. Eh, if they want to hold their silence, that's cool too. I'm just glad there's people watching this. I thought for a moment it was, oh, hey, it's Yeet. Hello, Yeet. I'm so glad you could see the top chat and everyone harassing you. <laughs> So, uh, Purple Snail has the unholy ability to summon people who are in stream. Lupe Preciado adding all of the, uh, bruh sound effects to chat. Big Preci- Memento Mori, friends.